Welcome to Triple Uh This is the old style uh, fluorescent unit that a lot of us have got in the boat. Uh, rather than throwing this away, you can just uh, make a small modification and still use the unit. Okay. So first, I'm just going to remove the cover. I'm going to remove the old fluorescent tubes, which were two times twenty watts. Now we're down to the uh, bare unit. So, uh, now this is what you should have inside your unit of the old power converters, your main feed in, and your wiring. What we've basically got to do with these um, to make these work on LED is put positive one side and negative the other and the bulb will work. These casings are earth but that doesn't need to be touched. If you haven't got an earth in the casing then that's uh, helps yourselves. So basically what we're going to chop out is these two boxes here. I've already started this because uh, otherwise the video would be too long you'd be bored. So basically you need to trace your wires around from one side see where they go where they would come off this, just pull them across, cut them, and then when I've done the side, we're going to keep this side. I've bared them back, put them together in twos, because each one has two off. Some of these may have a single coming off, uh, especially if you have two. If you haven't got two, you can have one, and then just get a small piece of wire like this. And Make sure it's locked in, push it in the back there, and put the other side. In there, push them in. Let's bridge them across. If you've got two, you don't need to do this. This is only if you've got a single here. The reason you bridge these across is that there's power going to both sides of the tube, because otherwise you might find the tube will only work upside down. But like I say, if you've got two coming off each one, you're out of them, basically. Uh, do the same the other side if you need it. This one doesn't because it's got two wires coming off. So you've got four wires in total coming down, which these are going to be put into one in a minute. I'll show you where they'll go. So this is part of your box. Let's fold that over. Now you've got the power into your inverters and converters basically just disconnect these so again follow your wires there's your power wires which are feeding from these so just disconnect them and then you'll have uh, four wires coming out the other side basically do exactly the same. Obviously yours will be connected, I've cut these ready. But basically they go around to the bowl connections. Again these have got two so there's nothing you need to do. If it's got one, there is two spare holes which you can bridge across to make it work. Same going there. Follow your wiring. Where it joins these boxes, just chop it again. So basically that's what you're trying to do, you're trying to get, I just bend these around because we'll be using these. You just cut these out. So these are no longer required so you can just remove them.
also remove the uh, pulse screws. Spin these out the way, this is what was holding down the actual power Make sure you've got all your nuts and bolts, remove them, you don't need them now. And this is what you're left with. So, what we're going to create now. Obviously this is the feed from one side of the tube. There's four wires coming off. Which I've put them in bunches of two and basically twisted them together. And then the other side, exactly the same. What we need to do uh This side now, because it's got to get down to the power side, you need to put a short extension in. Just going uh, to put all them pour into one side of the Lego brick. I'm just going to point them up. Okay, I've tightened that. I'll just make sure the wiring is firm in there. So next, you just need a long enough piece of cable to go from there down to your power source. Now this piece I'm putting in now will be the for the live, but you could run either cable either side as long as you've only got one feed each side. So live one side and negative the other. bit long, I'm just going to trim some off. Basically I've just added this cable, it's firm in there, it's not going to come apart. So is connect this into the live side. We suggest you do some of these have got little clips. You can hook it under a bit. So here now I'm gonna go into the live side. We'll just trim this cable back a bit. So there we are, I've connected that. 
that's joining the live that's coming in from your batteries comes up there, it's got a dry head to join the four end pieces now it's all we're going to do is the earth the actual earth uh, it's fairly simple, if you do it the same way I have you can just, uh, the four that come off the other side, they're already long enough so you can just twist them together a bit There. And then feed them in the I've just done that. I've uh, connected up the other side of the casing, which that wire runs round then to where the bulbs would turn in. So that is now ready for LED. So the basics of it again: you got your live, neutral, and earth coming in. Your live, you feed off your live to one side of the bulb. Join up all connections that go to one side of the bulb. And then you've got your earth, which on this one is the blue coming in. Sorry, negative, which is the blue coming in, uh, which goes to the other side of the bulb. And then your earth on this one just goes directly bonded to the casing. Not that many bolts have got earth, but uh, obviously this is for 12 and 24 volt DC only. Okay, let's pop it back together. The LED tubes in. There's 144 of these in each tube. These are 10 watts each, so it'll be 2 times 10 in one case. In that's in. These tubes are CROHS approved. Okay, I'm just going to move them down a bit. I'll turn the power back on and uh, a little bit of luck, it'll all light up. And there we are. Obviously, you'll uh, return your top case in. I'm just leaving it off so you can see. Off, on, off, on. Obviously, this all needs to be uh, via a fuse in your wheelhouse or bridge, whatever the case is. But that's basically how to change from fluorescent to LED. I'll put it all back together now. So uh, there we are. Thank you very much for watching. hope this will uh, help. This is only a guide. Uh, these should be fitted by a qualified marine electrician. But that's only my uh, recommendation. It's your choice. If you're competent to do it, then obviously that's fine.